guys welcome back to mummy cooks homemade we have got a haul for you today from Lidl and from herons i'll put the fridge and cupboard stuff up on here first and then i'll put that away and i'll put up the frozen for you so we got the walker's max strong jalapeno and cheese extra hot those are the husbands nobody else would touch them and i think they were about 30 pence We've got two packs of Cheetos footballs, one pack of normal white potatoes, a great big bag of 600 gram gummies, movie mix, and that was $1.99. I thought that was great value. Then we got some Dairy Milk Pots of Joy chocolate brownie flavour. These are for the kids. You will find with Heron sometimes that you don't get an, a really long date on stuff. So do check it because this is the eighth. So my kids will have to have these for puddings. We got, not on purpose, but we got two barbecue sauce. These sauces are fantastic and the good value as well. I think what a pound maybe, husband said yes. It was meant to be one sweet chili and one barbecue, but he's a numpteen, he picked up both barbecue, so never mind now and again i do like to cheat so i've bought these dumpling mixes these are the only ones i use these are fantastic and they're 39 pence at herons and you can't beat that and it makes eight dumplings so yes sometimes i do cheat there's three of these garlic purees 70 grams they were 30 pence each i think 30 pence, so I've got three of those since I'm always cooking. I've got some mint arrow mousses for the kids, either pack up or after tea. Four chocolate flapjacks. If I use them for pack ups, I'll cut them in half, or if I end up troughing them, I'll just eat it whole. <laughs> no guarantees the kids are getting them. I've got two milk tastic strawberry milkshakes. And that's for my eldest girl for a pack up. And I got two of the chocolate for the youngest for her pack up. They don't have pack up every day, it's just when something's on the menu at school that they don't like. We've got this disgusting thing here that I don't even like holding black pudding. This is the husband's. I can't think of anything more disgusting to eat. We've got some savoury eggs. My littlest one, she's decided she likes these now. So that'll either be after tea or it'll be pack ups as well. Two of these. Hubby's found a new favourite chocolate. And it must be good because there's not much of a sweet tooth, it's more savoury. So give them a go, guys. Yorkie Orange Limited Edition. A bag of Cathedral mini mature cheddars they will go in the youngest pack up box the, the same for the cathedral nibbles she, she's absolutely obsessed with cheese they will be hers for a pack up those also pack ups those are mine nobody's touching them i'm going to put them where the kids can't reach biscoff yes obsessed about a pound I think for all those these toffee crisps are four bars it says for a pound but there was two packets for a pound there so I've got those Kit Kat originals for the kids pack ups this was reduced I find this the best the best bread for toast with real salted butter on you can't beat it that'll be gone before mold even thinks of going towards it we love that stuff husband got a thing for breakfast muffins um he likes bacon in it sausage egg like it shows on there he'll even eat a burger in it so yeah got two packs of those those are his got a mediterranean flatbread that will be his Tea cakes, mine and the kids mainly, because he'll still be asleep while we're eating them. 
So yeah, they'll be mine in the kids. We've got these giant white sandwich rolls, but we'll be using them with um, huge hot dogs, which we'll show you out of the little hot. We've got two packs of these. I think they're a pound each. Just regular chicken breast slices for pack up. Honey roast ham, which don't look too bad at all. Eight slices, that's for pack up. A second chicken breast. This was a pound. 180 grams of pastrami. We freeze this and then use it for um, pizza toppings. Breaded ham, that'll also be frozen and that'll go for pizza toppings. These are packs of four pouches, obviously cat food. We've got three of those. And I don't know why this is in this one. It should be in the next one, the frozen section. But anyway, two blocks of frozen puff pastry. Not a chance on this planet am I baking puff pastry and the husband's wanting some sausage rolls. So that's it for this part. And then we'll get next one. We'll show you the frozen. So from Heron's in the frozen section, I can't recommend this XL range enough. I mean, some stuff is rubbish, but when you find something good, it really is good and it's so cheap. I really need to get these in the freezer, the defrosting. So these are 10 garlic bread slices and they were less than a pound, I think. So we'll have them with lasagna or spag bowl. These were only a pound. These are chicken nuggets with cheese. Now I've got a six year old that will probably get all excited over those. She loves cheese and she likes nuggets. So then Biscoff. Oh, I love Biscoff, but I didn't realize there was a salted caramel. So I got that. That was pretty cheap as well. Heavens is pretty cheap. I have got the receipt and I'll do a quick scan of it at the end. Picked up 10 square sausages just to have in a bread roll in the morning. These I had on the last haul. These are mini crispy chicken fillets. They have got a little bit of a kick to them. It doesn't state that they're spicy, but they are a little bit. And they are really, really nice. As you can see, they're only £1.50 and it's proper chicken. Got two packs of bird's eye quart pounders. Herons is one of the cheapest places to get them. And We'll be doing exactly what it shows on the box so that's what they're for over here we picked up these ice pops these swizzles love hearts i would say it's the kids that eat, eat these but no i eat these picked up three of these i'd say the kids eat these but no the husband eats these they're very very nice and i think there was something like 79p but don't quote me on that these mozzarella sticks they've got garlic breadcrumb on them these again the cheese so they're gonna be favored by my six-year-old next to that we've got fish steaks in a creamy butter sauce All right don't be disgusted guys but we like these on top of a jacket potato and with cheese on top of that Oh my god, it's so nice. Don't knock it. Don't pull a face until you tried it. Honestly, it's really nice. Um, got some Walls Yummies for the kids. Don't interest me, that sort of thing. Don't know what they're like, never had them. They're tropical with lime and gummies inside them. So, yeah, they'll probably like those. And I've got two packs of Southern Fried Chicken Breast Fillets. These will have a little bit of a kick to them as well because they're Southern Fried. But they're a good size. They'll make a good side for a salad or chicken burger. And that's the frozen part of the Heron haul. Hi guys, so this is the little part of the haul. Not too much from Lidl. But I'll go through it, what we've got. So we've got a 10 pack of cheese curls. Also known as Quavers with a brand. Then we've got the Ridge Court Classics also known as McCoy's if you get the brand these deluxe sour cream and Mexican lime tortilla chips now he brought me them on his um, excursion himself on his mystery haul and I didn't think I'd like them but honestly guys give them a try they are so good 
another pack of the McCoys, a pack for Steve, Texas style barbecue, so a mozzarella ball, I think they're about 50p or less, that, that's for the pizzas, chucking it about. These are the ones we used, I think these are about £3.50 and there's 12 in here and they are huge. I think these are the ones we used if you watched our What's For Tea and we had all them ones with the onions all over them. They are so nice and they're worth the money. So there's the jumbo pork sausages there. Mini sausage rolls, pack ups or at tea time. For the girls, every time we go there we get them a uh, toffee yum yum from the bakery. So they'll have that after the tea today after school. And that we've got two blocks of the mature cheddar, the 400 gram blocks. And husband's decided to treat himself, <laughs> and he comes out with half cow. This is his snack. <laughs> it's actually two beef rump steaks, so I will split it. He won't have both. But yeah, I think that was about 570, and they're a good weight. How much is it? 454 grams. Two bags of plain flour, as you know, I'm always cooking, always need flour. One iceberg lettuce, salads, bistro salad, which the husband prefers. Some mushrooms, put mushrooms to bulk up everything. A white cabbage, I do prefer this. Husband prefers savoy, obviously, we've got a white cabbage, I win. One whole cucumber. Pack of mixed peppers, some easy peelers for the girls, the saddest looking pack of celery I've ever seen in my life. Look at that, I mean, look at the size of them, guys, seriously. What is going on with it? Oh, I've got a big one. What am I complaining for? Anyway, we've got some, we've got some celery, cherry tomatoes. Obviously salads and stuff. Got two packs of the gala apples which were on offer at the minute. What are they about? 80p Steve. Yeah. A bag of carrots. You use it for anything. I got that white bag of potatoes from Herons, but for chips or roast potatoes we always have Maris Piper. Husband won't have anything else. They crisp up the best and that's what he likes, so that's what we get. Some Crusty cheesy rolls, which me and other half will probably have for tea. Brown onions, staple. And then he's got two of these, and I'm going to put one out. How much are these, Steve? Two pounds. Oh. Two ninety-nine. Two ninety-nine, they are. So that's not bad at all. And he's got one of those. And. That's the little little hole. Right, here's the receipts, guys. We'll have a quick look through. If you caught that. And the total for little was £45. We'll just go back up again slowly so that you can pause it on your phone if you want to have a look at the prices of anything. I'm sure I got some wrong, so don't take my word for it. And that's the little. This is the Heron's receipt. I've had to fold it in half, guys. It's huge. So if you want to have a look down there, if you can see. Just go down, it's, sorry. Let me straighten it. Sorry, guys. Once it's got to the bottom, I'll flip it over and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> and this is the other half of the Heron's receipt. And the total for herons, once we've gone back up, just so you can have another look, was £65. Right, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. But first, before we myself, my husband has just a, a bought this for me and it's just been delivered. 
obviously you know I'm a cooking channel so I'm a foodie, I love stuff like this. So this is a cast iron casserole dish and it's 5.3 litres, 10 year warranty, it's suitable for the hob and in the oven and it is, it's heavy. So yeah, I'm just having an excited moment with you. Probably not interested but I am. <laughs> And you can buy these from Argos. Really, really heavy duty cast iron dish if you want to get one from Argos. I've got the number here. This is not sponsored by Argos. He's just ordered it from there. So it's not a sponsored video, but it is so heavy duty, it's gonna last years and years. So if you want to get one, guys, if you're in the market for one, I love it, love it. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this haul and my random casserole dish. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I want, also want to say thank you to all the new people that have subscribed. It helps so much. Can you please, on your way out after you've watched the video, if you like it, hit that thumbs button because it really does help the channel. Hit the thumbs up for me. And again, Thank you for sharing time with me and my new casserole dish. I'll see you in the next one.